Next, we will revisit the Space Types tab. Select the Space Types tab on the left. Here is where we originally assigned space types to this project. If you would like to remember, recall how to install space types, please review the previous video. Looking at these space types, you will notice that there is a default construction set, but it is empty. We need to assign a construction set to all of these spaces. To do so, go to the My Model tab, drop down Construction Sets, and drag and drop our single construction set. To apply that construction set to all of the other space types, simply click the check boxes. Select the construction set you want to copy and click Apply to Selected. It automatically populates the construction set to all of the space types that were selected. This construction set is basically saying what type of constructions these spaces will be created from. You can customize these by creating additional construction sets. To create additional construction sets, please see the previous video. Next, you will notice that the space type has an associated schedule set and an associated outdoor design specification, outdoor air. This is the ventilation specification. It tells the energy model what type of how much ventilation is required for that space. On this column, you will see space infiltration design flow rates. The space infiltration design flow rates are also specified. You can change the flow rates based on floor area, based on total space, based on an exterior surface area of the roof and walls, or just exterior wall areas, or you can select air changes per hour. To create a different infiltration rate, You can simply just relabel it. And change the values to what you want. Similarly, you can copy those just like we did with the checkboxes before. We will apply an infiltration rate to the space plenums. You can see the final column is the space infiltration effective leakage area. We will not be using this, but I will illustrate how to find information about this input for the program. Simply search for space infiltration effective leakage area. You're going to want to look for big ladder software or energy plus input output. 
we'll look at Big Ladder Software because they have the energy plus input output located online. Next, select effective leakage area or you can click the link. This describes what the effective leakage area is. Essentially it's saying that this is used, this is a different way to calculate infiltration rates and it's normally used for smaller residential type buildings. So we will not be using this for our project. We will only be using space infiltration design flow rates. Next, you can go to the loads tab up at the top to see what type of loads have been applied to the each individual space. For our apparatus bay, we have lighting loads and associated schedule for lights. Sorry, definition and we have an associated schedule for the lights. Likewise, we have electrical equipment loads. This is the definition. And this is the schedule. And we also have the same for inf infiltration, a load name and the schedule. You will recall in a previous exercise, we created a microwave load. That was to be applied to the office, the closed office. You will note that there is no microwave load on the office. So we'll, we will have to drag that into this space type definition. Go to the My Model tab. Browse to Electrical Equipment Definitions. And locate the microwave uh, electric de electrical load definition. It appears that we may have deleted our microwave definition or we purged it in the previous exercise. So let's go back and add that back into our loads. Select the loads tab, electrical equipment definitions, copy this, rename it next go back to the space types tab select loads scroll down to closed office go to my model electric equipment definitions and drag and drop the microwave into the closed office space type. You will note that the microwave has been automatically assigned fire station equipment schedule. But we need to change this to the microwave schedule that we created. Go to my model and browse down to the rule set schedules and look for the microwave schedule that we created. Drag and drop that next to the microwave load that we, we installed. Now the microwave load has been applied to that space as well as the microwave schedule. You can see this is a multiplier, and this is for fine tuning a model without having to change loads or schedules. If we discover that the microwave is actually being used half as much as what we, what we thought, we can change this value and the energy model will automatically apply, apply a one-half multiplier to it. We will not do that here. You will note 
that the default values are green and any overridden values have been changed to black. And that is how you add loads and load schedules to a space type. There is a filter button up here for very large projects that comes in handy. For example, if we wanted to just look at occupancy loads, we can filter by people. Or lighting loads, we can filter by lights. Up at the top, the measures tag tab also is, comes in handy for advanced energy modeling. As discussed, these are keywords that energy efficiency measure programs lock onto to change the energy model to see how it affects energy use of the building. The custom tab, I believe, is used for custom programming. We will not that use this here. I will briefly discuss how to create a new space type. Simply click the plus button, rename the space type to what you would like. We will call this workshop. Next, apply a construction set. Apply a schedule set. Apply a specific outdoor air. We will, we will just copy or we can select a different one. Let's go to the library tab and specification outdoor air. Oh, we'll just do mechanical room ventilation. And let's look for an infiltration design flow rate. We'll look for mechanical room. How about utility? Next, go to the loads tab. Locate your new space type workshop and simply just drag and drop loads into the space. This will be a machinery room so we won't have a people definition. We will do lights definition storage and electrical equipment utility and finally we want to assign an electrical equipment schedule to do that go to my model rule set schedules and we will just say that the electrical equipment is always on there that's how you create a space type to delete it simply push the X button at the bottom Sorry, click the check marks and then push the X button.